All right, guys, we are going to do an actual, you know, taste test. Let's hope. Let me get a little bit of like the bacon. Yeah, you gotta get a little bit of everything. Oh, Cheese. No. I know it's always never like you plan. Yeah. Pasta. But I still get pasta on the first date. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Pretty good. Mm. Definitely got that kick. <laughs> I like that extra pepper. I Welcome back to my channel. Today I am with my sissy Illy and Hi. we are going to be trying to cook something. What yes. are we making? So it is called, let me get it right. <laughs> it is a butternut squash pasta carbonara with rosemary bacon. Even though we're improvising because <laughs> we don't have rosemary. It's okay. Um, but it's by Half Baked Harvest on Instagram. Ooh, she okay. has the best recipes. I'm excited. So, of course, Illy's boyfriend just left. He dropped off some groceries for us to try to make this. He probably ran away because <laughs> he doesn't want to try uh, uh, the meal that we haven't perfected yet. Yeah, but, but that's, what's, that's what boyfriends are for. Exactly. Yeah. I make Yao try all the stuff. Yeah. And he just has to eat they it. They survive. He likes it. Exactly. He didn't die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's alive. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so right now we're prepping everything. Let me just read off what we needed so that they have it. Yeah. And um, I'll definitely be posting this recipe, the link and the screenshot of what is needed and the ingredients so that you guys can go ahead and try this if you'd like. But basically ingredients here are um, virgin olive oil or whatever oil that you use. Um, two cups of butternut squash, um, basically the small cubes, fresh thyme leaves, crushed red pepper flakes, kosher, salt and black pepper or whatever black and pepper and salt you have. Mm -hmm. um, two garlic cloves, do we have that? Yes, we do. If not, we have garlic powder. That's what I <laughs> use. <laughs> when I don't have it, I'm like, mm. there you go. And then we need bacon, we need rosemary. I don't which one do we have? So we, de we have parsley, all the other herbs except for rosemary <laughs> and thyme. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah. Which is what? It's what I got. It's okay. It's okay. We have cayenne pepper. Every house has. Yes. Yeah, every house has. Uh, if I, you don't I, have cayenne pepper. I felt the judgment coming. I was like, every house has cayenne pepper. <laughs> Better have. Yeah. Or cesium right yes, here. Yes, we have. Okay. Everyone has, every house has cayenne pepper and every, uh, wait, do I, I think I ran out actually, I'm over here talking shit, I think I ran out of cayenne pepper, but every house has seasoning salt and adobo, yes. every okay. house has, yeah. I actually was just putting my friend on today, she texted me, yes. shout out to Meg, she's hey, like, Meg. what kind of adobo do I get, do I get the one with pepper, oh. the blue one or the yeah. red one? Yeah. And I was like, well, I think one is just Cause I right. have a, I, I've always been raised on the blue one, but I have the yellow one. And I always get the red one. I think the red one is poultry and like more yeah, to but so was that. I think I accidentally got lemon pepper one and I was a little confused. Because at first I used it and I was like... Adobo is just expanding. It's... It is. I was like, lemon pepper? What is going on? Yeah. Oh, honey. I, always, I put honey on everything. I put honey on Brussels honey. sprouts. Have you ever had honey glazed Brussels sprouts? Yes. Wait. Are you on... Or honey glazed salmon? Oh, always. You do like a little honey and like soy sauce? Oh, bomb. You know what you need to get on if you're not hot honey? It's honey infused with like chili, so it's like spicy honey. And you put that on your salmon. We're getting sidetracked. Okay, I got it, okay. But. Yes, but maybe we're gonna make that next. The yeah. next thing, um, other than the cayenne pepper, we need the honey, like you guys said, uh, well, like we said. Um, dry linguine pasta, or use whatever pasta you like. Um, it says two large eggs, Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna take those out and salted butter but mm -hmm. we'll see i'm excited for this i'm really really excited i want to see how long it says it's going to it just says like to roast in the oven for 10 minutes then flip it flip the bacon you know i've actually never made bacon in an oven like i i always fry it i put it in the once, skillet i mean and i wasn't impressed yeah because everyone yeah. always says like bacon in, in the oven is like amazing but i've never had that I hope you guys, uh, I, I hope I just texted this before. <laughs> I typed chi 
I I'm like, I'm only... like going back because of me. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think there's only one she in my life. <laughs> I was like, if I just texted this to the wrong yeah, person, you're special she's gonna you come. have an emoji, and not everyone. Uh, you an have emoji. an emoji too, but your emoji is red. Yeah, I think we chose hearts, like yeah, our color did. hearts. We did years choose ago. our color hearts. See, hearts. Exactly. So, okay. uh, let me wash my hands, and then yeah, get I'm, started. Yes. Okay. Okay, so what we're doing first is we're measuring everything and then we're just gonna dump it all together into the bowl. Let me see how I can help <laughs> because. Okay, right, let's see. Let's on a baking sheet, uh -huh. toss together the olive oil, butternut squash. Okay, so drizzle it on? Yes. It's gonna be like one tablespoon, I think. So, okay. yeah, so you can just be generous. Okay, I will move you guys a little closer so you can see. Ginger too. Let me see. So you guys want to see something bougie that Illy just <laughs> introduced me to? So I hate buying like the mint garlic yes. in the can or the jar. Yeah. But then sometimes I'm too lazy to just get regular garlic. So I get garlic in these pods. In. You gotta show them the pods. It's crushed garlic, so it's the garlic cloves. Yeah. But in actual like crushed like box form. Where did you get that from? I think that this is from Target. It's of no course. preservatives. <laughs> Gluten free, vegan. Like you can look at the Ooh. nutrition facts. There's nothing added to this but salt and yeah. water, huh? And canola oil. So they do have a little couple things added in there. But yeah, I just push them right out, and I have a whole clove ready to go. Ooh, fancy, fancy stuff, fancy, fancy. All right, guys. So we're gonna just keep you like this, so you can kind of see what we're doing. We'll definitely try to show everything that's going on. That way, you guys kind of see the full thing i suggest that you might as well just cook with us you know so if you're, you're hungry you're trying to you know figure out what you want to make cook with us and then you can finesse and make it seem like you know you came up with this all on your own for real no need to <laughs> share when you got it yeah <laughs> we have to share it though of course because this is a video going online but you know you don't have to say anything Right. So first, okay. let's put the cubes in. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna pour it right in here so that way we can mix it okay. all in. All right. I like mixing. I don't have my nails. So, anymore, ooh, so. that was more than a tablespoon. Oh, I know. That's what I think. I don't oil. measure, you guys. I really don't <laughs> measure at all. I don't measure anything. So I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see, actually see like what our hands are doing in a sense. So let's just come on in. So we just put the cloves, the um, garlic cloves, in here. And then as well as the butternut squash and some olive oil. Yes. And we're just gonna, you know, just mix everything together. Make mm -hmm. sure that it's like fully kind of doused in olive oil. Yes. I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon. I don't even know why I'm measuring that. Just shake, shake, shake. I know. I'm trying to get it. <laughs> we like spicy anyway, so of yeah. course do this on your own. Right now we're adding the crushed red peppers. So yes. as you can see, it's in there. But, um, Yes. Mm -hmm. Gonna mix that. Some salt and pepper. This I usually just eyeball because okay. I'm gonna go just add to it. Yeah. Salt. And he had a salt grinder. I don't know what happened to it. Okay. Salt grinder she had. Yeah, let's get some sea salt up in there. Yeah. I'm just putting it on the baking sheet. I'm gonna spread it out and whatnot, but. Oh, so we preheated the oven at 400. Yes. she's doing is putting the honey in the bacon so it asks for what is it how much honey oh you don't you guys don't want to see me cook it with honey because that whole thing that it's she has two teaspoons of honey and would there's be not much in, in here oh that one's ready uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> 
Okay, there we go. Okay, get that honey in there, girl. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, they can't see our faces. <laughs> yeah, okay. they can't. I zoomed in so they can see our hands. The magic. But this extra sauce left over from the button, the olive oil, the crushed pepper, the garlic cloves. Um, it's well, it's not focusing. But as you guys, that mixture, I'm saving it because I'm gonna drowse it over the bacon. Okay. So the bacon gets dressed with honey and cayenne pepper. It's exactly two teaspoons of honey and one, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, but of course you can eye it and do a little more, do a little less. <laughs> this recipe is different, like definitely sweet and savory. Yeah, which definitely I sweet love. and savory, yes. And then we're going to, so right now what she did is she just put the bacon in the oven. With the butternut squash. Yes, so that's gonna be in there for about like 15 minutes, so 10 minutes at first. And then after that, we're gonna um, flip it and then put it to yes. 15 minutes. So then carbonara mix which is usually an egg wash or an egg sauce mm -hmm. um, but this will have the egg and parmesan cheese and I can tell you exactly how much parmesan um, also the way I crack eggs a lot of people get stressed that I'm gonna get the shells in there but I just never do it works out it just works out for me okay it's that magic touch and then you need okay, a, so I put the eggs in. Yep, and then you need a cup of Parmesan. <laughs> Measurement. We're not doing a cup. Okay. <laughs> we're going to let you... Well, we do need it to be the right consistency okay, 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 for the okay. sauce. Okay. Then we can add more on top. All right. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Because yeah. I was like, I love cheese, girl. What you mean? Yeah, this is going to be a thick sauce. Right? Okay, so this is half a cup right here. Okay, yeah. So we need oh, a couple so of those. Lot, okay. Yeah, it's going to be thick. It's gonna be a thick one. Damn, this is pretty much the whole the tub. Oh, perfect. Okay. So, a cup comes in there. And then I'll pass you this fork. Okay, thank you. For the whiskity whisk. And then we can kind of just have that sit because while we wait for the butternut squash and bacon, mm. this will just be on the side. Look at the flick of the rest, you guys. You see this? Oh, we might need a zoom. Oh no, they can see the flick of the rest. Oh, flickety flick flick. <laughs> oh, yes. Skills. Yep. This kind of reminds me of cornbread consistency. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. <laughs> it's funny. I love some cornbread. I love cornbread too. But do you like, I like mine without the corn in it. Oh yeah, me too. Okay, cause like, so we eat it with the I'm like, why? It'd be distracting. But it'll also be diluted with it's pasta like a water. Cornbread consistency. You guys notice that? It's like really like a cornbread consistency. That's interesting. Actually, it looks like grits. That's yeah. what it looks like, not cornbread. Like a very buttery, mm -hmm. cheesy grit. Yeah.
at five, like five minutes at a time. Yeah, that's Hey, Siri, done. set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes and counting. Okay, cool. All right, guys, the pasta is almost done. Then we're going to put it in the colander. You know that's what it's called? I used to, what it's called? Yeah, I used to call it a strainer. I it's like, not a strainer. Oh, the strainers are the small ones? Oh, I don't know. I thought that was always, I thought that big one was a strainer. So I said, that's so why I used to always call it that, but it's called a colander. I don't even know how I learned where, how, who told me that? Something with like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were like the colander, and I was like, the what? Excuse me? I was like, <laughs> you mean the pasta strainer? <laughs> the pasta drainer <laughs> okay so the timer's done so the, let's check the bacon oh it's definitely getting there okay it's getting there but we should probably leave it in a little bit more let's yeah. see let's see let's, um, you think so I think. right yeah yeah it's like the ends are good but like yeah i think we should leave it in for a little bit longer okay. what about the um the butternut squash. squash is feeling soft but I but it's gonna get mashed up anyway yeah it's gonna get mashed up as long as they don't get crispy but because there's so much oil in here yeah they probably won't they won't okay okay at this point i'm like should we just put that thing in the skillet after if it doesn't finish by a certain time <laughs> all right okay, so I'm we're about to take the pasta this. out um, <laughs> it's okay girl <laughs> I feel you. Okay. All right, guys. So Illy just took the um, the butternut squash and the bacon out of the oven. But right now, what we're doing is we're gonna actually take the butternut squash out and put the ba bacon back in just for a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, it the funny thing is it looks actually a little bit crispier on it camera does. than it does. It's like. a little uneven, but yeah we'll put that back in she also mentions it in the instructions that you might have to do this okay so, okay um and that way we can actually let the butternut squash cool a little bit before i puree it yeah side here set up is the butternut squash we're gonna puree that yeah we have our egg and parmesan it's gonna be our carbonara sauce okay what we is that what is that uh we took a cup out of pasta, pasta water, water yeah. because that would aid the sauce okay and then all we have on the side is some more parmesan cheese to uh, top it okay i think we should top that yeah when we put the pasta and everything on them with the yes. bacon and stuff like that so pretty much now we're just waiting on the bacon and then we'll do the quick switcheroo yeah. of the pasta and sauce because it has to be quick and whisk so the egg doesn't cook and it turns into a sauce. Yeah. And we'll add the pasta water. So we'll do it all in like one big bang. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So the next step is um, we are going to blend the butternut squash and make it into a pasta sauce. So we're using her um, Nutribullet. Yes. Her Nutribullet. And we are about to make our pasta sauce. Yes. Yeah, that's probably what's going on. Oh, it's already like soft. It's like we don't need anything else. Wait, is it gonna make it too runny? Like that, right? Yeah. That's why I like it. I don't like it too, too. Like, I don't like it like that. That's so bacon. All right, there you go. It's ready. It is ready like Freddy. What, what? Okay, so now we put it in there in the bowl. Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do is grab this. Do you want to stir the pasta sure. while we add this? Yeah. So, we're just, you know, keeping the pasta going, making sure it doesn't dry out. Okay, and now we can add the cheddar and mix. Yes, the cheddar egg mix. So like Not you cheddar. guys just saw, uh, sorry, Parmesan. Right? 
Okay, so we're gonna add that into the oh into the pasta, not yeah, into the pasta. Into the pasta. Okay. And then you're just gonna stir that in. Okay. So, so nothing cooks. Oh, so nothing cooks? So the egg doesn't cook. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> before it starts to become a scrambled egg. Yes, exactly. So we just have to keep stirring, keep stirring. You know, add this into the so. Okay. So you'll see it'll become like a creamy sauce. Okay. Mm. Okay. Look at us. So yeah, I process everything in my Nutribullet. Yeah. Because I don't process food that <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel you. I want a juicer. Mm. I'm saying that, but then I'm like, are you gonna juice, girl? Or are you just saying you want to juice? The thing with juicing, it gets so expensive. Girl. No, it does. Because it doesn't like you use you the whole get... vegetable. Yeah. Or fruit. Yeah. If it's expensive. It's time consuming. Mm -hmm. Okay, this kind of looks like a uh, mac and cheese a little. Yeah. So I'm gonna turn this off. Okay. It's like the mac and cheese color. And then we have our bacon on the side. Oh, actually, we can add it to we our individual bowls. Yeah. Okay. So you have the sauce there. Yeah. It's pretty much it. With the carbonara, you just have to be careful when you add the egg mixture because it can quickly turn into a scrambled egg, like a fried rice situation. Yeah. So you gotta keep like stirring. Stirring, stirring. yeah. But okay. once it's all mixed in, there's like no chance of it cooking. It just turns into a sauce. You know, the only thing I would think I would have changed is maybe we should have done a little bit more butternut squash. Butternut squash? Yeah, just to change the color. More? I but that was, I think that's the only thing I would have changed. Yeah. Okay, scrape this out. I think I might be that person that makes their child's baby food. I think I am too. Like all fresh yeah, food, all like natural. Yeah, mash it up like this, they eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Start my kid early on some seasonings. they will be like, that thing don't got no seasoning. I know. I'm going to come through with Gerber. They're going to be like, ma'am, <laughs> what is this? This Gerber elite. <laughs> oh, yo, yeah, yeah. Just regular Gerber? Like, yeah. what is this? They're going to be like, what is this, mommy? Alright, I think we're good and then ready to, we're gonna serve now. Yeah. We'll so. show you guys the end of what it looks like once it's plated. Alright guys, this is the final presentation. So I added a little bit more pepper flakes because as I said in the beginning, I love pepper. And then we put the bacon on top of it and then I put a couple of basil leaves in there just for a little presentation. And that is our meal for tonight. All right, guys, we are going to do an actual, you know, taste test. Let's hope. Let me get a little bit of, like, the bacon. Yeah, yeah you got to get a little bit of everything. Oh, Cheese. Oh, I know, it's always oh, never like you planned with yeah. pasta. But I still get pasta on the first date. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> pretty good. Mm. Definitely got that kick. <laughs> extra pepper I added. It was really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you guys definitely get this recipe. Add extra seasonings. This is how you know it's spicy because I'm over here choking up on my words. Mm -hmm. Add the extra seasonings if you want to. We have our wine ready. Cheers. Cheers. You have to look people in the eyes. I know I got it. You know. I've, I've been scorned. Yep. And cheers to you guys. Hope you have a great night. Talk to you and see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.